SpongeBob Super Sponge, a pretty nostalgic game. And yes, I understand everyone's love for SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, which I totally understand everybody loves the game. I love it too, but I wanted to see if all these years from not playing SpongeBob Super Sponge, if I'd actually like the game. I was surprised at how much I liked it. It met my expectations as well. Let's find out now how it met my expectations. There is no history for the game. THQ was tasked to make a Spongebob game for the PS1. They did this and we got Spongebob Super Sponge, which came out November 5th, 2001 on the PlayStation. The gameplay for Spongebob Super Sponge honestly starts out like any other platforming game. You hit start and after a couple of cutscenes, the game officially begins. The game, as for how the game actually plays, well honestly, it's simple. You can move and jump just like any other platforming game. There is no run button, however, Spongebob's running is really fast, which makes jumping pretty easy. There isn't really a time where I have an issue trying to get to the other platform. Sure, there are some of the close calls, but for the most part, it's really nothing to shake a stick at. As far as the level design though, uh, I'm not a huge fan. The worst thing is, like I stated earlier, you can get to the middle of the platform super easy. But more often than not, I see an enemy and holy freaking cow, it gets super annoying when I hit the enemy on the jump. Look, I'm not saying it's terrible level design or that the game is difficult or anything, but it is very annoying, and to be honest, there are some other gimmicks in this game. You use a butt bounce, which more often than not is something that I use the most. The bubbles are there to get you to higher platforms, the reef floor helps you to get through certain doors, and the last one being the jellyfish shooter. These are all well and good, but they're really situational items. And that makes me not a huge fan. And to be honest, it's really hard for me to like something like this when you only use it for certain parts of the games. And honestly, these items are super gimmicky. I'm really, really not a fan of them all in this game. The next part of the game I want to go over is the bosses. Holy freaking cow, these are boring. I mean, very, 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 very boring. And sometimes it took some luck to beat some of them. Like the Flying Dutchman, for example. You only have a certain amount of ammo for the fight, and if you shoot too much, then you're gonna lose, which sucks hardcore. And I know, I go over the sound in a bit, but the Flying Dutchman is freaking annoying as I'll get up as well. Holy cow, just listen. Fetch me, dude. I am going to steal your soul. <laughs> the final thing I wanted to go over for this game is the graphics. The graphics are good, but sometimes can be kind of washed out and very dark. The models themselves though are freaking great in this game. From Spongebob to Patrick, I was very impressed with them. And overall, those are great, but the graphics can use a little touching around the edges. The music and the sound in this game is also a mixed bag. It's very Spongebob-esque. The music to me though is pretty underrated in my opinion. No, seriously. The theme to pick levels and some of the level themes are not grating on my ears. And actually, in fact, they sound pretty nice. I like the use of the ukuleles and along with the accordion. They actually sound pretty good. But the sound of this game is holy freaking cow. It is so annoying. SpongeBob is the worst culprit of them all. Come on, THQ. Why do you make SpongeBob say ouch every time he hits something? It's so freaking annoying. I hate it. The music is great, but the sound is not very good. It's so so. The story for this game is SpongeBob is trying to get a present for Patrick for his birthday. He decides to get a present from their favorite superheroes, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, and SpongeBob is setting out to get their autograph. And guess what? The Fetchers don't give it to him unless he does stuff for him. Being the nice guy SpongeBob is, he gets the stuff to them and the game ends. With him going to the party with SpongeBob. SpongeBob giving Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boys autographs to Patrick. Oh boy, I have to tell you, after the hell these a-holes put me through, I freaking hate them. I'm dead serious when I say they are worst characters in the freaking show. You put my life in danger because you hate SpongeBob? I get you want peace and quiet, but there's no excuse. I hope you have heart attacks. Fetch you guys. I also hope the elderly home burns down to the ground with you two inside. Everyone else can make it out, but you fetchers. Spongebob Super Sponge is a game, and I like it, but it's a mixed bag of sorts. I would say more like a solid mixed bag. You'd probably be best to stay away from the game though, unless you like Spongebob. As I will say, the game really does have some great callbacks to the show, and I really like that, but honestly, there's way too much to freaking call this a perfect game. The sounds along with some of the level design are so bad, I can't stand it. The bosses themselves also can outright fetch themselves as well. With that, I give the game score a 6.8 out of 10. It's not a bad game, it's just 
just not a great game. The flaws I mentioned are too much to call it great. Thank you folks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.